Yeah. Guys, are you supposed to come over here and sit this? Go to here. I pray for Joshua's dear and his family, and I ask that you would give them a heart to know you. I pray that just as it was said of your good and faithful servant, Daniel, that an excellent spirit was in him, Daniel chapter 6 verse 3. <coughs> May it also be said of my son and daughter and me and my husband that an excellent spirit is in them. Draw them close to you, draw us close to you and enable us to become more like Jesus. You have said in your word that you are the door by which anyone can enter and be saved, John 10, 9. Keep us from going through any other door except the path to eternity that you have for us. Where we have walked away from you in any way, cause us to return to you with our whole heart, Jeremiah 24, 7. Enable us to become new creation in Christ, as you have said in your word, Second Corinthians 5.17. Give us a heart of repentance, the kind of heart that is humble and turned toward you. Wherever there is any rebellion in us, I pray that you, God, would create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us. Take away all pride, pride that allows us to think that we can live without you. Give us a desire to want what you want. Uh, oh, that's, no, that's it. September the 28th. September is almost out of here. Out of here. Oh, um, my birthday calendar. Did I hang it on the doorknob like they used to? I don't know where the calendars are. And uh, last night, Mariah called, and uh, Daddy took a while. And she was asking, how's the kids, how you doing, any man, and any man. And finally he said, well, uh, I lost my son. She said, what? He talked loud anyway, Lord have mercy. He said, yeah, he passed. He said, what? And he said, Ted said, well, I told Carrie, and I thought Carrie was going to tell you. Yeah. Mariah is whose daughter? I can't remember. I can't remember these people. 
And uh, nobody told her. But she didn't know. And and I uh, I tried to get Ted to be more organized than he is. He just get on the phone. And, Hi, how you doing? How's everybody? And miss somebody. He's got six sisters, seven. And they all got kids. Um, uh, well, he's the baby. So his sisters are like 80, close to 90. Their children are in their 40s and 50s. They, their children are old. And his cousins are 40s and 50s and 60s. And, and, and so Mariah is one of the old ones that are alive. And uh, Ella Mae was the oldest of daddy's tribe. And so her children, Carrie and Willa, Freddie, and somebody else. I think she had two sons and two daughters. Anyway, so uh, Carrie lives in Fort Worth. Willa is still somewhere in New Jersey somewhere. Those are the older ones. Then you have Hester, and Hester had Carol and what's his name? Joel. I was going to write this down. <laughs> and every month we were supposed to go over somebody's kids. Grown kids. So, so uh, Mariah is one of the originals, I say, OGs. And she was, she didn't know. Carrie didn't call her and tell her. And she didn't know. She said, "Well, how old was he?" And I heard him say, uh, "He was fifty-nine." He said, "Was it? Was he married? No, he wasn't married." And she's got one son, and he's, I'm sure, in his 60s. And uh, Daddy called yesterday and talked to Gene. And I said, I said who's Gene? He said, oh, that's Uncle, one of Uncle Henry's sons. Oh, yeah, his wife was sick when, when we had the funeral for Teddy. And she was in the hospital. I said, oh. So he called Gene yesterday and talked with him. Uncle Henry had what? Six boys and one girl? Uncle Henry took you on the golf course and drove you around the farm. You remember Uncle Henry? Uncle Henry. How old was I when this happened? Oh, you must have been four, five, six. Mm. You remember the golf court? Not really. Did he use the golf court to help him get around? It was a hundred acre. A hundred acre wood. <laughs> hundred acre farm. Mm. But no, I really don't remember playing it, with golf it's, God help me, Jesus. Because I was laying in the bed last night or this morning, and I said, yeah, we could take, we could, we could, I can make a chart, and we could talk about all the different kids, because they're all grown now, and then they got kids, and, you know. They're almost grown. No, the seven sisters. The seven sisters are dead. Had, uh, yeah. Except for but, they got, but they got kids. Those kids that the seven already have are grown. Yes, sir. The grown kids have kids, too. Yes, sir. Those grandkids are either grown or almost grown. Oh, yeah, they grown. They, they, uh, uh, one of Bug's, Bug's, uh, son, no, Jackie's son goes to, 
in college and he's majoring in music and you know and Ted's trying to find out uh, he's trying trying to find out what college is he looking at uh, is, he, is he playing in the band at the football game and uh, And and I uh, see I had this problem with Mama, because Mama was at net. Uh, dial this number, one two three four five six seven eight. I said, Mama, uh, would you write it down? Write these people down. Mama said, Remember f phone number. Tell me to dial this number instead of talking to somebody like she's been talking to them all her life. And I don't know who she's talking to or what. And when she died, she had 76 people that w wanted to say something about Sister Smith at the funeral. And Andy kept saying, that's enough. Tell these people to go sit down. They had lined up <laughs> around the church. <laughs> they wanted to say something about Sister Smith. Because.